What's going on, everyone? My name is Benny No, and we are back with Benny No's Road to the Show. That is right. We are here in San Diego, Petco Park, getting ready to play a three-game series against the San Diego Padres, baby. Super excited as Petco Park is one of my favorite stadiums to go to. I call it Dodger Stadium South <laughs> because the only time that stadium's filled, in all honesty, is when the Dodgers are there. Now, you might be wondering why I bring this up, and I'm going to tell you in a minute. Daily double uploads every day at 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific, and at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. And don't forget, when MLB The Show 21 comes out, three daily uploads every day. It's going to be awesome. So recently, I was hearing that, uh, if you guys don't know, if you've been living under a rock, MLB stadiums are starting to talk about how they are going to have some fans in the stadiums. And uh, some stadiums are even going to have full capacity, which is insane. But, hey, whatever. I love seeing baseball, and I love going in person, so I'm happy to see things are starting to open up. That being said, I read a comment recently about how they're not going to sell any tickets at Petco Park to Dodger fans <laughs> when Dodger Stadium, when they play the, the Dodgers. And I want to say that's laughable because – before this season, before they got, uh, you know, before Tatis and Machado and Blake Snell and all these good players, nobody goes to Padre games. As a matter of fact, one of the only times it sells out is opening day, and it probably doesn't even sell out completely, or when the Dodgers are there. To me, uh, Petco Park is the stadium that the Dodgers built, <laughs> in my opinion. Um, that being said, uh, I understand why they're doing it. We're just cracking jokes here. Um, they're obviously doing it because they only want San Diego Padre fans to be in there because there's only going to be a limited amount of players. I mean, of people that could attend in LA here, I think they're talking about 10% maybe, uh, which is like five, 10,000, which at Dodger stadium, it can hold 55. That's not a whole lot. So in Padre stadium, their capacity is only like 32,000, if I'm not mistaken, and 10% of that would only be like, you know, 3,200, which isn't a lot of people. So I could completely understand why no one would want to sell tickets to any fan other than a Padres fan. That being said, when you heard about it being the, specifically the Dodgers, you know there's just a little touch of uh, them trying to promote this so-called Dodger-San Diego rivalry, which to me doesn't exist. Um, but, yeah, I mean, hey, if, if, it helps, uh, if it helps things out, then whatever. But like I said, uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to open tickets up to Dodger fans at some point because uh, things are starting to be on the upswing, it looks like, and uh, things are getting better, and uh, they're going to be wanting more fans there. And I'm definitely going to be one of the ones that wants to go to Petco Park because San Diego is just beautiful. The weather is amazing. Uh, the food is great there. The stadium itself, Petco Park, is an amazing stadium. I love it. It's, there's a park actually in the stadium within the stadium which gives it like this really feel like you're in a city but not and that's the cool thing about it is you could be walking around the state the city as well and still catch catch glimpses of the of the of the field and i remember going there numerous times and you can see right now there's apartment buildings in the back like you could see when they're barbecuing and <laughs> you can see smoke rising and it creates like this this fog around around the stadium so yeah man like i said petco park i'm super excited um i hope to be able to go there this year it would be a lot of fun it is an it is one of my top top three or four uh favorite stadiums and um i'm still looking look at i'm still looking to try to get a home run here i still can't time this ball up right man all right here we go top of the six runners on second and third so a big op a big rbi chance for Mr. Benny No. Let's see if we can actually hit a home run here. Oh, did we get a hold of one? That one looks like it's got some warning track power. <laughs> Dang it, man. Good news is we're winning 6 to 3. And um yeah, we're Oh no, not anymore. It's 6 to 6. Okay, so Padres are fighting and coming back, man. Epic. Here we go. Let's see. Uh runner on first, one out. This looks like a Taylor made double play scenario. And it should be as we flick it to Seeger, and he turns around and whips it to Bellinger. The classic 4-6-3 double play ends that inning. 
And we are still knotted at, at a six here with a runner on third and two outs. So another RBI chance for Mr. Benny No. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. No doubt home run. It's going to hit the metal supply building. Bam! Let's go. 430 feet. 430 is my guess. It's the MLB Network game, so we're probably not going to get to see the guess. But 435 was my guess. I pulled that one big time. And that is the first home run for Benny No in this 2021 season. It came a couple games into the season, but nonetheless, it came, baby. Here we go. Let's take a quick replay look. Let's see if they are going to tell me the, the distance here. They usually say the velocity and those cool stats. But this particular scenario, it doesn't look like we're going to get to guess the distance. But, eh, whatever. <clears throat> nice home run. We get the win. We usually play two games in these videos. Let's jump into the next one. All right, game two in this video, baby. Here we go. We're back at Petco. This is game two. Let's see what we're going to do. First pitch. Ooh, a hanger, baby. Perfect timing. That one's got a chance. Way back. Let's go. 395 is my guess. First pitch, first home run. I love starting off like that. Oh, it just feels so good to step to the plate. And look at that. 2020 NL home run champion, apparently. We won last year. Oh, see, I mean, look at Petco Park, man. It looks so beautiful with all the Dodger fans there. <laughs> I mean, it just looks gorgeous. Uh, 435, I think, was my guess. Look at that pitch just hung up, man. Don't throw a pitch like that to anybody. That is just asking to be driven out of the stadium. And that's pretty much what we did. Not out of the stadium, obviously, but, you know, gone and launched. So, yeah, um, let's do this. I forgot what I was going to talk about. I wanted to talk about... Oh, okay. So, a funny story. Uh, like I told you, I love going to Petco Park. Um, and when the Dodgers do show up at Petco, um, the tickets on StubHub usually go for insane prices because they know Dodger fans are coming down. These are the Padre season ticket holders I'm talking about who will list their tickets on StubHub. And we'll increase the prices a lot because they know Dodger fans will pay anything to come down and watch their team. And, yeah, so basically what that means is every time I go to Petco, I'm usually sitting in a in a decent seat. But I try to buy the cheapest tickets I could find because, like I said, I don't want to spend a lot of money. And uh, But this one particular time, I ran into a friend of mine down there. Uh, his name's T.C., and I, he's not, not really a friend, but he's an acquaintance. I know him from going around and catching baseballs. And, um, you know, he, he asked me where I was sitting there. I was with my dad. And, uh, man, we were sitting up in the nosebleeds, I think. We really just went for batting practice and uh, to watch the game. So after a while, he's like, well, hey, man, I got two front row left field tickets. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's awesome. And how much uh, how much would you charge me for them? He said 50 bucks. I said, what? I didn't say what, but I was like in my head, like, wow, okay, yeah, we'll take them for sure. $50 to sit front row at Petco Park when normally those tickets go for like 100 and 150 per ticket? I was like, yeah, man, we'll take them. So we luckily got to sit front row, and it was actually a game that my good friend Bobby Crosby had went to separately. So we both were sitting front row, a couple of sections across, but, man, it was an awesome experience. The Dodgers – lost i think that game if i'm not mistaken but uh yeah it was a good time like i said i got front row tickets for very cheap and it was it was really cool uh one thing i like about san diego is it's also only uh you know two hour two and a half hour drive from where i live so when we go down there we don't necessarily need to buy a rental hotel or anything like that we can go to the game you know the game usually ends around 10 something and we can get home by midnight, and it's not like a whole uh, – we try to do it on the cheap, you know. Uh, so here we go. Two to one, home run time. I don't know. That ball looks launched and caught. Dang it, man. All right, but, yeah, if you've never been to Petco Park, it's definitely a park I think you should visit, especially now with the, all the amazing players that are there. So here we go. Let's see if we can knock out one more home run in this video. Benny No from the left side of the plate. Serve it up. That's gone. That has to be gone. Way back. Boom. Let's go. Hitting home runs is so much fun, man. My third of the year. Benny know the tank looking to take on the home run champ again. Triple crown winner again. It will probably happen. Let's go, baby. I don't think we need to see a replay. We saw a bunch of home runs. But we are going to get another at bat in a dynamic challenge. Okay. 
Let's go. We're getting a Grand Slam right here. Let's go. The challenge was either to drive in a run or hit a Grand Slam. But Grand Salamis at Petco Park are definitely something I want to do. Especially in against the Padres. So <laughs> here we go. I'm not going to be too sad if I don't hit a home run. But I do want to win this challenge. Okay, ball. This guy's throwing me a lot of cheese inside. So uh, let's see if he's going to give me a pitch that I could turn on. Here we go. Be smart, Mr. No. The, the PS5 is pulsing. The remote... Dang it, I got at that a little late. I should have pulled that one out a little later. But the run is definitely going to score, but we're going to lose our challenge, unfortunately. And hopefully that's the winning run, and I still get the player of the game. <laughs> we'll find out right now as we do not hit a Grand Slam, and we're going to find out who's going to win this game right here. And it looks like we're going to win it on this play. Two outs, bottom of the 10th, runner on first. He's either going to walk it off or we're going to get the out, baby. Here we go. Or he hit a base hit. There's a lot of options, but those are the two that I'm predicting He's stealing, and I'm not paying attention as usual. <laughs> we get the win anyway. Thank God, man. We really need to work on that stealing uh, second and getting my player over to there. We'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here. Peace.